Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm Kevin and today I'm going to be reviewing one of my newest gadgets. Actually, it's one of my top five favorite things for camping and overlanding and that is my Yakima road shower. So my road shower is attached to the bottom side of my extrusion overland bed rack and it starts right here at the rack and goes all the way to this end. It's 60 something inches. I don't remember the exact uh, dimensions off the top of my head, but it does take up the whole size, the whole length of the bed of the uh, Ford Maverick. So. It kind of fits under there perfectly with the tent and it sticks out just enough because I have to get right here to pressurize the tank and this is the cap to fill up with water. So um, they come in three sizes, four gallons, seven gallons, and 10. This is the seven gallon and I'm gonna show you guys just exactly how to use it. So filling the road shower is really easy. There's a cap right here. You unscrew it, you fill it with water. Easiest thing is to use just the garden hose or if you're not at the house, you can take water from like say a gas station or another service station so the water, just hand tighten it. And this little cap right here is for either a uh, bicycle air pump, a regular air compressor, or even a hand pump. You can charge this entire shower with just a hand pump if you have no electricity. So right here I have my cheap $5 air compressor that I got from the Dollar General. I have it plugged into the outlet in the bed of my truck. Now I'm just gonna put this cap right here, tighten it down. And you should not go over 65 PSI. I usually stop around 55, so I'll go ahead and turn it on. The road shower is now charged to 55 PSI, and it comes with this hose right here. And let's see if I can do this with one hand. A quick fitting. Just like that. Now you got a nice hose with a spray nozzle. Great for uh, you know washing dogs, washing your feet. Um, if you're at the beach, get all the sand off of you, take it a shower, wash the dishes. The options are pretty endless. I love this thing. Um, I use it every time I go camping and even when I'm not camping. So I'll go ahead and charge it right now because all the pressure in the water is in the tank. All I did was put this uh, quick release fitting in there. I'll go ahead and charge it. You can probably hear the pressure coming in just like that. All right. And just look at the pressure coming out of this thing. It's probably gonna have some air bubbles at first. But I mean, that's the same pressure you're going to have at the house. And this thing keeps pressure for the entire tank. Now, the pressure is going to wear off evenly, but uh, you're going to have pressure for that whole seven gallons that's in there right now. And I've even charged this and then left it in there for, you know, three or four weeks. And I did not have to charge it. It had the same PSI, did not lose any kind of pressure or anything. So um, I like it for this aspect. Now, it does have an option to get a stainless steel shower head. And I'm going to show you guys uh, right now why I would not waste my money on the stainless steel shower head. Just like the hose, it's got that quick release fitting. Really nice. Does not leak. It's pretty strong. And uh, the flexible shower head, I think it comes in two lengths. This is the longest one there is. And uh, it doesn't really stay where it should, but that's not really the issue that I have because you can always tie it up with a gear tie or something. That's what I usually do. But uh, it just just does not give enough water um, like an actual shower head. So it's kind of weird. Um, the nozzle right here, if you fan it out, actually gives a better shower head feeling than the actual shower head from Yakima. So I'll go ahead and pressurize it and then I'll show you guys um, the stream that comes out of this thing and why it does not make a good shower head. Like I said, really good connections. They don't leak. And this is the stream that comes out of the end of the shower head. It's just like a fire hose. So on a normal shower head, you can just adjust the tip and like a, like a nozzle on the end of the, the hose and you know, the water will fan out. This does not do that. If you just unscrew this, all you're doing is just unscrewing the nozzle. So that's really all there is. So whether you have that or you have this little plastic piece in there, it does not fan out. It's not a nice, you know, steady uh, rain or anything like that for taking a shower. You're just getting blasted in that one particular spot. So I found that I found that really frustrating. So I actually didn't even take a shower with this. I ended up just taking the hose and just loosening the end of the nozzle and making it fan out and being like a rain, a really soft uh, shower. And um, I've been using that ever since. So this, don't waste your money on this. The Yakima Road Shower is great. Um, really good 
uh, product. It's all aluminum. It's not going to crack or anything like that in the sun. It's not going to fade um, like some other brands that are plastic. But uh, really good product. Just don't buy the shower head. I can't recommend anybody uh, spending $89 or 60 bucks or whatever it is for the shower head. Um, it is pretty useless for when you're trying to take a shower. So the quality of everything is top of the line. It's just the only thing that I have is just... You can't really shower underneath that. You know, it's just... That was kind of frustrating. I was just really misleading. I thought a shower head was actually going to be like, you know, a nice uh, spray uh, area of water, not just a steady stream. So, uh, like I said... Yakima Road Shower, great product. I love this thing. Don't spend your money on this. It comes with this hose right here. Get you a good shower, or a good hose nozzle right here, and just turn the tip out, make it fan out, and uh, take a shower with that. It's really nice. You can serve a lot of water with this because you kind of just, you know, wash yourself down, soap up, and then rinse off. So if you're trying to wash your hair, you can put this nozzle directly in your hair. And uh, I don't know, I found it really easy to just use the hose that it came with rather than spending, um, you know, just under 100 bucks or whatever it is for this attachment. So if you enjoyed this review of the Yakima Road Shower, please consider subscribing. In the bottom right-hand corner of this video, there's a little thing you can click on, a little picture icon. Go ahead and put the cursor over that, click subscribe, and stay tuned for more review videos.